My name is Wilfred Winkenbach, and I'm here to tell you a story. Owning a football team sounds glamorous, right? Private planes, VIP treatment, nothing but respect. Well, not so fast. In 1962, football may have been a growing sport, but for me, it wasn't all fun and games. At least not yet. Excuse me, have you guys seen a driver for Winkenbach? Yo, Winkenbach? Yeah. From the Raiders, right? Yes, that's me. You're late. I, I realize that. Hey, We're... you're late. You drive a Vinny, he left without you, OK? But I hired a car service. Yeah, we don't know what to tell you, buddy, all right? Isn't Oakland in the AFL, the almost football league? There's a cab line out front. This team sucks. <laughs> hey, buddy, you better get an umbrella. You're going to need it. The game is supposed to be fun, right? I mean, call me naive, but that's why I got into it. I figured you build a roster and watch them succeed. That seems easy enough. Well, for me, life was anything but easy. I was part owner of the last place team in a league they called second rate. But to make things worse, that fall we were in the thick of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Hotel Manhattan, please. Uh, get comfortable, buddy. Things just didn't seem all that fun anymore. You believe these crazy Soviets? The world was changing fast. I thought the Cubans were on our side. I mean, that Ricky Ricardo? He seems like a nice fella. And I guess I was just looking for something new to take my mind off things. They have grave consequences for us all. Listen, would you mind turning that off, please? Yeah, no problem. So what brings you to town? Raiders game. <laughs> You're telling me that you came all the way to New York City for an AFL game? Yeah, well, I'm with the Raiders, so... What's your record? A record? Yeah, well, what's your record? It's not good, OK? We've only been around for three years. The whole league's only been around for three years. That's not a good enough excuse. It's a process. Oh, it's a process. Let me tell you something. The NFL, that's real football. That's the only thing the fans give a crap about. Yeah, I really appreciate your point of view. Hey! You see me? Yeah, you almost lost a leg. In all due respect, I think you're wasting your time, pal. Starting to think you're right. We were in town to play the Titans. You know them today as the Jets. Typically, a road trip to New York would be a good time. But these days? Mr. Winkenbach, we've been awaiting you. Nothing was guaranteed. We generally reserve our hotel suites for team owners, but I'm afraid since you're so late, those rooms are already taken. Of course they are. Jimmy, can you show Mr. Winkenbach to his room, please? Thanks. Take your bag, sir? Yeah. Ouch, 0 oh, 7. Tell me last year was better. Technically, yeah. Or 1 in 12. You know, I'm a big baseball guy. You ever think about doing what the Yankees do? They just have a team full of stars. I just think sports is more fun when it's like that. That easy, huh? Yeah, you just do what the Yankees do. That's it. I just have to go get a team full of stars. You know, you know what? Ah, I'm good. I got it from here. Everyone's an expert. Kid had a point, though. I would thought about it for years Focus myself. Surveillance of the Soviet military buildup on the island of Cuba. There's so much in this world you can't control. Sure would be nice if you could just create something perfect. Like a team full of stars. And then, suddenly, it was like a light had been turned on. Call it an epiphany or an idea born out of desperation. I had to tell someone. Hey, Scotty, can you grab Bill Tunnel and meet me in the hotel bar in about 15? I want to run something by you guys. So I called right. up a couple of guys who knew exactly what I was feeling. We are asking tonight. So that, that night in the Hotel Manhattan, as all of America held its delay. breath, we ordered a couple of cocktails and hashed out a plot all our own. I tell you, this season's going to be the death of me. Well, if it's not the Raiders, it could be the Soviets. True. Or those. That hasn't been proven. Has it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not good for you. I got two beers and a Cuba Libre. Cuba Libre, yes, that's for me. Thank you very much. That's <laughs> the drink you order tonight. 
Where'd you find this guy? We're gonna get nuked and we got Shecky Green over here. I have to apologize for my friend. It's a winner, though. We need to talk. You're not selling, are you? I don't know how much more of this I can take, but no. I have been doing a lot of thinking the last couple of seasons, so. I mean, football is supposed to be fun. We are just miserable. I want to start my own league. Wink, there's already two leagues. Yeah, but this league is different. Hey, think about how much more enjoyable it would be if we had a team full of star players, like the Yankees. Yeah, no kidding. Wink, I can't even afford to pay for the bar tab. You want me to buy a professional football team? I'm talking about a game where we fill our rosters full of players from all of football, AFL and NFL. Oh, like a pretend league? Yeah, but the players are real, and so are our rosters. Our rosters, I don't understand, how does that work? We take turns picking, look, Bill, take any player, AFL or NFL, first pick, who do you take? Come on, James Nathaniel Brown. Perfect, you get Jim Brown. The second pick, I take Fran Tarkenden. Good pick. Scotty, who do you take at three? Unitas, probably. There you go, that's the first round. Then we go back to Bill. And I could take a quarterback. Well, no, Bill had first pick though in the last round. Uh, that's a fair point, so. You get the first pick in the second round, but that's the game. The point is, if your players do poorly, you're probably gonna lose. Right, and if they do well, you win. I kind of forgot how that feels. Exactly. <laughs> we couldn't know it then, but what we scratched out on a couple of cocktail napkins that night was the start yeah. of something huge. I got it, I got it. What on earth is going on? I invited a couple of writers and season ticket holders. I told you about this. Oh, that pretend game. It's not pretend. Well, I just don't understand what it is. I mean, just think of it as a game within the game. Game within the game. Hey, guys, come it's on. It's still make-believe, Wayne. Some people never got it. What can I say? It's going to be fine. But for these guys, this was the thing we'd all been waiting for. Hey, gentlemen, welcome to the Greater Oakland Professional Pigskin <laughs> Prognosticators League. Or you could just call it Gopple. Uh, before we get started, any questions? Mm -hmm. Bob. OK, so the real games are on Sunday. When do we find out the winners of our games? Faster than you think. My secretary now has a new job on Mondays. It's just going to be about getting the numbers. And by Tuesday, we'll know who won. Way to go, Betty. So if one of our players scores against the Raiders, we're supposed to be happy now? I mean, this is a good thing? All right, well, uh, let's look at it this way. It's a win either way. Scotty, how do we get our lineups to you? You call Bill by midnight every Friday and tell him you're starting roster. What? When did that become my job? Just now. <laughs> Games are head to head. <laughs> and at the end of the season, we will crown a champion. So what are we actually playing for? Good yeah. question, yeah. Pride. <laughs> what? Pride? Wow. OK, guys, really <laughs> enough talking, enough wow. talking. All right, let's get started. Andy, you're up. First Ooh. pick. Let's go, Andy. I guess I'll take Blanda. Why no Blanda uh, anybody? Andy, 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 We can take players from the NFL too, right? Yeah, both leagues. All right, you're up next. <laughs> well, unless he retired, I'm going to go with Jim Brown. Hey, that's now that's a pick. Okay, Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill's using his noggin. Thanks, Andy. So that's how it happened. With a couple of legal pads and a chalkboard in my rumpus room in Oakland, we just went with our gut for better or worse. After all, this game is supposed to be fun, right? Maybe I should have taken Jim Brown. <laughs> yeah. 